All right, what's up, man? This is a new yard right here. I got a ton of bushes, so they got to get trimmed up. And I went back and forth from the battery Toro and the gas Red Max on this. But this video, we're going to talk about what I wish I would have knew before I started in the business. And this probably applied, could be applied to any business, basically. But man, if you're going to jump into anything you're going to do, and you're talking about a business of being an entrepreneur, the first thing I would ask myself is how much money I want to make each year. And then do lawns or am I going to landscape or am I going to do it both? But the first question I ask myself is how much money I want to earn each year. Because when you ask yourself that, it's automatically setting yourself up to put value in yourself of how much you want to earn. Because if you know how much you want to make each year, that's going that starts everything to work. How much am I gonna have to spend on equipment? How much am I gonna have to charge for these yards? How much am I gonna have to put aside for the hard times? All of that. And once you know how much you wanna make a year, I feel like you can really, that's a good start. I never asked myself that when I first started doing lines, all I wanted to do was work on my own and have some of myself that's ownership. And I really wish I would've asked myself, how much do I wanna make a year? Because I probably would have said about two hundred thousand dollars, just being honest. And what well, the price of everything is, you know why. <laughs> but I probably would have said that, and with me saying that, it would have set my mindset into a whole different state as far as how I'm trying to look at myself and view myself and get money in this law care thing. And like I say, that question for there could be applied to dang near anything. And with more means more work. So. Not only with just more grass and trying to get customers mad, it's, it's, it's marketing, you're doing estimates, you're keeping up with prayers, and you're still trying to balance life and family. And for me, I'm a single father, got kids, so it's a lot. I ain't gonna lie, shout out to any single parent out here doing what they gotta do. But it can be done, and you learn a skill while you go along with it. So with me having to run my own business and balance my life with my kids, it's taught me more time management. And I'm going to, it's my fourth year right here. I'll be going into my fifth year next year. And for me to get that far, I feel like I was pretty disciplined as far as some areas. I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm still slacking a lot of areas, but you're gonna have to give up something for something else because if you're gonna wanna make it out here, it's gonna be a lot. And when I first started, I knew it was gonna be a lot, but I didn't I didn't know it was gonna be like this. So just be ready for a lot of challenges. You really become a problem solver when you step out here on your own and get into doing your own thing. The next thing I probably would have thought about was what is it gonna take and what am I gonna give up? What would I give up to, in order to become that person I'm gonna have to become? Cause you're gonna have to give up something in order to get where you're gonna get where you want to get, which I would pretty much hope you would want to be at the top of this thing. And you have to give up something in order to get that. And I, I should have asked myself at first, what am I willing to give up in order to get to that next level? And that right there, like I say, is just, it makes your mind think a different way. So when you get to thinking like that, you got to think about everything that you didn't, that you've been doing, that really shouldn't be around like that you get to weeding things out. You get to weed out all that stuff that really, really didn't even matter. You too much or nothing like that. All right, next thing is equipment. Get commercial equipment if you can. And I would save to get commercial equipment if I could. You can start without it. I ain't knocking nobody who starts without it, but as soon as you can possible, get you some commercial equipment. You gonna need it and you're trying to do jobs all day long. You try to make a living with this. So when you try to make a living with this, you probably want to get some equipment that's going to last. It's something that you can be out there with all day long. They could take a beating and you don't have to buy as quick to replace. You get commercial equipment and it'll last you a little bit longer. Once you get it, it may last you three, four, five, six, seven years. There's been guys, I know a guy on TikTok He's had a trimmer since 1996, still starts up. So get commercial equipment if you can. And a truck and a trailer, mowers are obvious, but a, a trailer, you could do more work than just mowing grass with that trailer. 
you can do cleanups. You can, even if you want to do gel call on the side, heck, you can take that money, side money, and buy bigger other equipment and throw it back into it. So a trailer, you can do more work than just mowing grass. And when I first started, I only thought about mowing grass, guys. I didn't think nothing about hauling off leaves, hauling off uh, tree limbs and sticks. I never thought about that. I'm just being honest. All I thought about was mowing grass. That's it. And now I got this trailer. I use my trailer for tons of other stuff besides mowing grass. So when I'm first starting to buy you, I give me a nice trailer if I can. Find them used. People get rid of trailers all the time. You can find you a nice used trailer. And uh, market yourself for more than just mowing grass out here. So that way you can have your route work. I didn't know that at first. And going along, you learn this. Also, mowing size. I just thought I needed a zero turn. I didn't know the difference. I thought box stores were the only commercial mowers for real. I knew something about other, other stores because I would see them as far as like uh, local stores here. But I really didn't think it was a difference between what they sell and what the box stores sell. And it's a total difference. Big difference. Commercial equipment is a really big difference as far as the decks, how the decks cut. And like I say, you want to get something that can take a beating if you can. Yeah. You can get started how you get started, but get you something that's got a really quality over quantity. Have a mindset of quality over quality. Because the quality, it'll last longer. Quality, you'll be buying more. So, well, and when you can, get you an edger if possible. Looks real good. Your son is dying. Bushes, need you something to trim bushes with. Get you some hedgers battery hedgers they work that way if you got a trimmer a edger and uh, a hedger to trim bushes you can basically do all job and you can handle a whole yard you can maintenance a whole yard i didn't know that at first all i knew was cutting grass mowing trimming blowing and i'm out of there that's all i thought so if you can't get your edger it's going to keep it crispy it'll make you look more professional quicker and then i mean i know how to use a trimmer now but i wasn't the best with a trimmer it took me maybe two two full seasons to get decent with a trimmer i feel like i ain't gonna say i just get out there the first season i got it down packed it took me maybe two so these little things that i wish i would have knew man and say this is a brand new yard right here this yard out man see what you think i almost lost this customer i ain't gonna lie they sent me a message and we had a combo and they said man but we just want to keep you because we love your attitude. So attitude goes a long way, and it's also also included. Like these type of videos, man. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, man, and hit the bell so you get the notifications. And uh, I'll holler at you in the next one. Real nice. Hey. And it's Boneyard. Get at you in the next one.